you're just been like, you know, doing your weekly wine research and you come across an article where a man is supposed to be reviewing wine but instead completely obsesses over a woman that makes wine in a super creepy way. I know, it happens to us all, all the time. Well, my sister was researching wine for work and she came across this article. She shared it with me and I really want to share it with you guys because it is a journey. So this article was written on this Richmond Wine Culture WordPress blog back in 20. 11 by a man named Hank. The title is Ariana Acapinti is awesome and so are the wines of Acapinti. And the title's perfect because the main focus, the first thing they mention is this woman and that's what we're going to continue to focus on. The first paragraph is rather average. It just talks about the region of Sicily, some of its history and how that's contributed to art, music, agriculture, and cuisine. All that good stuff. But most importantly, it is also the home of super cool down-to-earth Ariana Achapinti. More heart clip art and a map of Sicily pointing to Vittoria where Ariana lives. <laughs> Ariana is a 20-something wine grower who has been producing wine only since 2004, and I bet she has a great sense of humor and is really confident in her wardrobe choices. I bet she doesn't really follow fashion trends, but instead dresses appropriately for the sunny Sicilian weather and isn't afraid to wear her vineyard jeans to the local Osteria. So he's already starting to talk about Ariana a lot, and also this picture of her, like, muddling grapes, I don't know what you would call that, with the, just the hearts all next to her is absolutely perfect. But, you know, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's just trying to take out his paintbrush, give us a little background so we can get to know our environment and our wine producer before he gets into the hardcore wine review. Alright, this paragraph starts off rather normally with some uh, explanations of her strategies and growing grapes or making wine or whatever they're talking about and the fact that she's a bit of a rebel. She is an outlaw outright. I wonder if anyone could tame her. I bet just hanging out and talking to her could be a lot of fun. I bet she knows about sports as well as politics and I bet you could smell the sunshine and salt water in her hair. And of course, this paragraph is appropriately accompanied with a picture of her smiling with more heart clip art next to her face. Okay, I'm actually going to read the whiny parts of this paragraph just to show you how strangely he transitions from wine talk to just obsessing with this woman. SP68 IGT Cecilia Rosso, 2009, $24. Named after the road that passes by her home, this blend of Nero, Davola, and Frappato is fermented like all of her wines using natural yeast. No temperature control, vinification, and no filtration. The result is a wine of elegant precision, balanced tart red, and slick back fruit. Perfect for Aronson, Eggplant, Capanata, Milza, sandwiches with veal spleen, and of course, olives. Ariana's skin has a nice olive tint to it. I wonder if it would be weird to present her own wine to her at dinner. Do they have prom night at Sicily with another picture of her now on a moped with the same- He's not even- this dude is not even committed enough to come up with some new heart clip art to put around her. He's just reusing the same two or three images. Alright, and here we are at the final section of the review. Sicily's most planted grape. Did you know that only 15% of Nero Davola is actually bottled on the island? The rest is shipped off to be branded for mass market consumption. Ever see that crap at Trader Joe's? Ariana's is by far the best version in the whole wide world. Cuddly and expressive with earth-driven minerality. Am I writing about the wine or Ariana? Save this wine for Sicilia a la Pizzolia or whatever Ariana's favorite dish is. Okay, so you might be wondering to yourself at this point, what is the point of this video? The point of this video is to ponder at what the actual goal of this article even was. Because if the actual goal was to review the wine and make it sound really good so that Ariana can sell some more wine, you failed because you've shown your insane bias towards this woman. Like, you're clearly obsessed with her, you love the woman, you may or may not like the wine because everything you've been saying about the wine could be completely 
inaccurate because you're just trying to impress her. And if the point of this article was not to sell more wine, but to get this girl to like you, you've also failed in that department because it just comes off as incredibly creepy and obsessive. It's like, ask a girl out on a date. You know, you're both into wine. Take her to some cool place. I don't freaking know, but don't do this. This is the worst way to, like, try and win someone's heart if that was your intention. I tried to look up the guy that wrote this article to see if he was doing anything today. It doesn't seem like he is. The last time he posted to this WordPress blog was 2014, so I don't know. Maybe this style of review didn't really work out for him. Uh, I'm looking forward to my Italian ancestors rolling over in their graves over my pronunciation of some of these words, but what do you think the purpose of this article was? Do you want to see me do more absolutely random stuff like this? Hope you guys are doing super well, skating on to the best of your abilities, drinking a sufficient amount of water. I'm going to try and do a YouTube live stream soon and a Twitch live stream soon, so stay tuned, check those things out, keep an eye out for that stuff. Hope you guys are doing super well. Peace.